Hello everybody, welcome to this new part of this tutorial series about flying retro-style AVA spacecraft. Today we will cover how to do an ascent from a moon while targeting a spacecraft already in orbit and how to launch in the good inclination uh, for a resultant orbit that allow for a rendezvous later and um, like Apollo 11 did. So for that there's a couple of steps. Uh, first one is you will want uh, to wait until your targeted spacecraft, until his orbital path is going to cross your uh, spacecraft location. So of course we are on the ground now and you can see Columbia is right above us, right? His trajectory is coming right over us. Obviously if you were in this situation, this wouldn't work at all or you would need crazy amount of uh, Delta V and fuel to join the two spacecraft and we were not going to do this. So when this is done, uh, the next question is obviously when to launch. So you can basically launch whenever you want. The only thing that uh, the launch time will influence is the time to rendezvous once you're in space. So for that, you can use the phase ejection angle indicator and you want to wait until the needles reach roughly zero which means the target spacecraft is going to pass right above you. And that's uh, roughly the good time to launch, to have a short time to rendezvous once in space. So let's do it. Let's time warp a little bit. Okay. So now the spacecraft is right above us. And uh, next, what we want to do is put ourselves in target mode and plus, so that the target direction is going to be uh, displayed uh, in the two we, with the two needles on the nav ball, allowing us to align to that, right? And to launch in the correct inclination. So let's do it. RCS on, stage, and full throttle in ignition. And we have liftoff. Okay, so I'm going to start pitching over and to align in the good di direction. Oh, look at that, we can see the shadow. We can see the shadow. Okay, so I'm pitching like 30 degrees above the horizon, climbing at 15 meters per second. And here on the disk key, in target mode, I can see my relative inclination, which is right now roughly 5 degrees, and we see it's going down, since I'm launching towards the target. You also want to manage your current apoapsis, which for now is 8 kilometers, and we are aiming roughly for 15 to 20 kilometers orbit. can see our inclination is still going down, still going down. And what you can do during your ascent is to switch on the FDAI between your target plus mode and your orbital plus mode, meaning your prograde vector. And right now we can see our prograde vector is here, a bit to our right, and that our target is roughly left of the prograde vector. That means what we want to do is align our prograde vector with our target direction, right? So if we want to influence this more, we will want to add more normal component to the business. And that means I'm going to place my attitude more left of the target direction, meaning that my... Oh wait, I'm going down, <laughs> I need to pitch up. Yeah, meaning that my um, shit, <laughs> meaning that my uh, prograde vector and my target direction needs to be in the same spot. And we can see it's, the inclination is decreasing to a really good value actually. So I'm switching back to target plus and aligning to it. Yeah, now it's going back up again. It's normal. But yeah, basically you want to adjust your attitude 
uh, depending on this number and uh, where is your progress vector and your target direction, right? And hopefully you can manage to achieve an orbit within two degrees of uh, relative inclination, which isn't so bad and would allow for rendezvous with little cost of uh, uh, delta V. Of course, during the ascent, you want to make sure your climb rate is always positive. So right now it's like uh, 3 meters per second, meaning our apoapsis is ahead of us. And we can see it's just one second ahead of us. If I want to increase that, you want to pitch up, which will increase your climb rate, meaning you are flying less horizontal. and as you can see, your time to apoapsis is starting to increase. Now 2 seconds and my climb rate is starting to, to go up as well. This would depend on uh, the moon, the how the terrain, prof terrain profile is. Uh, of course, if there is like high elevation, you will want to start pitching up way more than that. But I know I'm in the Mare Tranquillitatis, so it's mostly flat, so I can be I, I'm all right. <laughs> so obviously in real life, uh, all this business was uh, automated and pre-computed and uh, with the ground team, etc. Here we are really doing this the uh, space cowboys way, really manual. <laughs> but uh, that's where the fun is, right? So relative uh, inclination is good, 2.80, 2.5 degrees and uh, going down. So you can see I'm a bit left from my target uh, direction and that my prograde vector is to my left still. To my right, sorry, I'm left of it intentionally. So let's do a quick status check. We are uh, 1.5 relative inclination, 6 seconds to apoapsis. We are 10 kilometers above uh, sea level, if you want. Our orbital speed is, uh, surface speed is 500 meters per second. We can see it here too. So there's quite a bit to go still. And uh, we will simply continue the same way until orbit. Always keeping an eye on the climb rate, which is right now 50 meters per second. You can see our attitude right now, ground speed, which is roughly 800 meters per second. Relative inclination is 0 0.6 degrees, still going down. 11 seconds to apoapsis. So we are now at 11.5 uh, kilometers apoapsis. Target inclination is 0 0.18 degrees, relative inclination. 13 seconds to apoapsis. I'm gonna start pitching down a bit. Since for extra challenge, I will want to achieve an orbit in one single burn. So what you want to do for that is always keep your apoapsis right next to you. And as we discussed earlier, you are doing so by managing your time to apoapsis, your climb rate, and uh, for that your pitch, of course since we are all only burning full throttle and anyway this engine doesn't have throttling on it so that's not uh, an option here but you could have it on a stock ksp or with other engines you could use the throttle as well but i wouldn't recommend it 
always full throttle and mostly use the pitch. Do not have a gravity losses in your ascent. So as you can see right now, this is my prograde vector and if I switch to target direction, they are mostly aligned. So that means we did the best we could to match the inclination during the ascent. Oh careful, I'm going down. Let's pitch up a bit. And yeah, right now I'm going up really slowly and we can see we are obviously flying right before our apoapsis. Yeah, and if I pitch down, the time to apoapsis is gonna start to decrease. And if I pitch up, it will increase. So yeah, that's how you manage that and how you manage to attain a uh, orbit in one single burn. Which is pretty cool, actually. And you can see here I corrected my attitude to the left a bit to make my inclination go down relative to my target. It was 0.15 and now it's back to 0.10 which is nice. So we'll be very soon in orbit. We are at 1,400 meters per second. Perhaps this is going up. Relative inclination is still good. Going up at one meters per second. And this is where it can get a bit tricky because uh, as our thrust weight ratio is uh, increasing, right now it's going yeah, almost 3 uh, relative to the moon of course. And uh, as we are closing from orbit, uh, you want to be precise on your time to apoapsis. I mean getting it pretty precise, keeping it... Um, uh, soon, not soon, but uh, close from you, right? So right now I'm pitching down again. Perapsis is at minus 300 kilometers. Orbital speed is at 1600 meters per second soon. So we'll be very shortly in orbit. Okay, we are nearing the engine cutoff. 50, pitching up a bit to make the apoapsis right in front of us. 20, minus 10, 0, 2, apoapsis 20, engine cutoff. Okay, and we are now in orbit around the moon. So Apoapsis is 23 kilometers and periapsis 11 kilometers. Our relative inclination to our target is 0.1 degree, which is great, which is really, really great. Yep, as you can see, we are in the same plane. And uh, yeah, so that's it really. Uh, and the next, uh, what you want to do is do an orbital rendezvous, which we already covered in a previous tutorial. I will put a link uh, somewhere on the screen, whatever. So let me make a quick uh, recap. First, uh, you want uh, that your target uh, orbital path is in intersecting your current position. Current position. You can use, uh, sorry, you can use the phase angle in indicator when it reaches zero to launch, uh, for the time to launch. Then, w once you launch, you want to use on the FDAI GID mode uh, the target plus uh, direction. And you want to align to this while comparing, comparing it to the prograde vector. This gives you your two direction and according to that you will uh, uh, adjust your attitude of your spacecraft to move your prograde vector towards your uh, target direction and to make them both match. Uh, then during the ascent you want to manage those two things constantly. 
you can keep track of the relative inclination in the target mode here on the disk key, relative inclination. You want to manage your time to apoapsis right here and uh, your apoapsis and periapsis right here, your orbital speed, your climb rate and use your pitch to control this if you're attempting to achieve an orbit in one single go. Uh, the simpler step would be to do a uh, to be to do a coast phase and then a circularizing circularize blah, whatever you understand you understood me <laughs> right <laughs> to circularize your orbit in a later burn okay so thank you everybody for watching uh i think this will be the last episode in this uh, series since we pretty much covered everything in regards to flying those uh, type of spacecraft um rendezvous ascent docking landing and uh, yeah, I think that's it. And um, maybe I will continue doing those tutorials. I, I'm thinking about the space shuttle, like doing the manual re-entry uh, in a real solar system. That would be pretty cool, but that would be in a few time from now. <laughs> okay, so thank you everybody for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.